Aditya L1 solar mission just took some incredible photos. It's actually the first time we are seeing pictures from the spacecraft since it launched on September 2 by ISRO. So, in one of the pics, Aditya L1 took a selfie showing off two important tools it's carrying. One is called the Visible Emission Line Coronagraph which is used for studying the sun's corona and the other is the Solar Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope which helps capture images of the sun's photosphere and chromosphere which are essential for various solar studies. Another photo from the spacecraft camera shows Earth from a pretty close distance with the moon in the background. It's like a space selfie with our planet and its celestial body. Aditya L1 is on a mission to learn a bunch of fascinating stuff about the sun. It's going to look into solar activity, things like solar flies and coronal mass ejections which can lead to stunning auroras on Earth but also pose a risk to our satellites and infrastructure. For your knowledge, an aurora is a natural light display that shimmers in the sky. Blue, red, yellow, green and orange lights shifting gently and change shape like softly blowing curtains. Auroras are only visible at night and usually only appear in lower polar regions. And there is this puzzling thing called the coronal heating problem. You see, the sun's outer atmosphere is incredibly hot, like around 1 million degrees Celsius. That's way hotter than the other layers of the sun. And it's a bit of mystery for the scientist. They are trying to figure out how this crazy temperature difference happens. The spacecraft is currently orbiting Earth and has completed two Earth-bound maneuvers on its journey. And the next one is set for September 10. It is exciting to see what Aditya L1 will discover as it continues its mission around 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth at the L1 point. For us, the distance is large, but it is just one percentage of the distance to the Sun. Meanwhile, a small asteroid measuring about 6.5 feet wide passed really close to the Earth, much closer than our GPS satellites. It was spotted just a few hours before it passing by at a distance of only 4000 km which is just one percentage of the distance between Earth and the Moon. It was so tiny that it didn't pose any threat to us. The European Space Agency reassured us that if it had hit Earth, it would have burned up in the atmosphere, possibly creating a cool firewall and only a few small fragments might have reached the surface. Pretty fascinating space steps, right? Thanks for watching.